Welcome Bryce, Ricky, Jason from Lifehouse. Buddy, how you doing? Hey. Guys, thanks so much for coming out, seeing us today. Got a couple of questions, and if you have a question, raise your hand. Uh, but I'll start with one from the Twitter feed uh, at Fan of Lifehouse. It's Emily. Uh, what was the biggest challenge that you faced when making the album? 
Uh, the biggest challenge. Um, I mean, I think I think every album has its own challenges, and this one was probably the most difficult to make, just in the sense that it was a, uh, it was our it's our sixth album, and uh, the last thing that we wanted to do was just go back in the studio and, and repeat um, the five previous albums. So we kind of had to go back to the drawing board, and really just kind of shake things up and and just not settle, you know, and just continue to try to evolve and 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 push each other to. Uh, create a, a new sound. So it took us about a year and eight months to make this album, but we really feel like we, we really captured some uh, special moments. And uh, I think that the biggest thing to this album was not uh, rushing it and not and not settling. So, anybody else with a question? Raise your hand. All right, one second. Let's bring the mic over here. <coughs> Tell everybody your name. Hi, I'm Melanie, and hi I want to know. Hi, hi Melanie. Hello. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> um, I want to know what each of your favorite songs is to play live. Um, probably uh, a song called "Broken" is 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 a uh, it's just a different kind of energy every single night, and it feels uh, feels fresh and new every time we every time we play it. So it's probably mine. I like a track called uh, "Nerve Damage." Are you familiar with that? Because I'm the drummer. <laughs> I like a track called Spin off our second record. It has a new introduction that we, we do live that's kind of electronic now that makes it interesting. Cool. Last one before you, uh, another song. From DJ Dobson, 1987, which song was the hardest to put on paper? Uh, the hardest to put on paper. Actually, probably this song, Between the Raindrops. Um, one day I went into the studio and... Uh, we weren't even supposed to be in the studio that day. My my um, family was in town, but I, I had this this kind of song reverberating in my head, and so uh, I had like 15 minutes. I just threw a bunch of different sounds down on tape to just try to uh, see if I could kind of solidify this this idea that I had, and that was just kind of the the start of the, or the backbone of Between the Raindrops. And I sent it to the guys and uh, our producer, and they really connected to the song, and uh, so that's where it started. But then the song took four months of rewrites. Uh, we couldn't get the uh, the lyrics and the arrangement right. So at, at a couple of different points, we almost decided to kind of uh, throw the song back and just kind of move on. But um, I'm glad we didn't because when we finally finished it, that's when uh, one of our our buddies that was writing the song with us um, threw out the idea of getting Natasha Bedingfield and. Uh, as soon as she came down and, and put her vocals on the track, that's when the song really just kind of jumped to life. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of our, our previous singles happened really quickly, you know, and this one was a good four-month journey to, to, to finally uh, get it right. But um, it's one of my favorite tracks on the album. Cool. <laughs> Which we will play in, in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Something about you 
now But I can't quite figure out how Everything she does is beautiful Everything she does is right Cause it's you So on the, on the current or new album coming out December 11th, All Maria, not only do you have Natasha Bedingfield, but you also have Peter Frampton. That's right. Yeah. Did, he, now, did he bring the talk box in? He didn't. No, no. Disappointing. I know. We were a little too embarrassed to ask him. You know? <laughs> it's kind of one of those weird things. But he, amazing guy, just so, so generous and uh, unbelievably talented. So, yeah, we're really excited about that track. It's called uh, Right Back Home. Nice. Uh, guys, any questions at all? Raise your hand, Tal, if you've got a question. I've got one. Uh, will you please play in Costa Rica from at Danny Bolblanco? So yes. Big, yes. big fans yeah, in Costa Rica. Absolutely. Are you kidding me, Costa Rica? The yeah. answer is yes. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Uh, what's the goal? This is from uh, at Fan of Lifehouse again. What is the, the goal of All Maria album-wise and tour-wise? Well, what do you guys think? What is, the, what is our goal? That some people listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some people buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. <laughs> so that is the goal to recording an album is that somebody would listen to it, right? <laughs> Sometimes the answers just, you know, answer themselves too, I guess. Yeah. Totally. We would definitely love to uh, headline arenas this year. That would be, that would be an awesome goal to have. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Headlining Letterman, though, on October 30th has got to be kind of cool. Actually, Leno. Leno. Er, Le yeah, Leno. You know what's Leno funny? on October we've, 30th. We've played, um, we've played Leno 11 times? Our 11th time, and we've never played Letterman before. So I like, I like where you're going with this, because we've always wanted to play. Expanding horizons. Exactly. So yeah. we're all, and now, now you're going to play the new one now, right? Yeah, you got it. All right, Between the Raindrops. <laughs> <laughs> 